But temperature wise, we have seen a steady warm up since we had that Sunday cool down. Let's head over to Bill with the latest. Yeah, and, uh, right around 80 degrees here in the cross today, but we're going to drop about 10 degrees from that tomorrow. So a little bit cooler heading into our Wednesday allergy report. Nothing has changed from 24 hours ago. Low symptoms both days for birch pollen, high symptoms for oak pollen and for tree pollen in general. Again, that hazy sky thanks to wildfire smoke that has filtered southward out of Canada. And that's why uh, uh, it was kind of a grayish yellowish color at times today instead of our nice blue sky that we're uh, accustomed to when we have a clear sky or at least a mostly clear sky. 80 degrees to high though, and that is eight degrees above our average high. 51 was the low this morning. That's pretty much right on track. 90 and 31 are the records for today. 79 degrees with that hazy sunshine. Uh, temperature here at the station, 80 degrees. Winds out of the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and the Mississippi continues its gradual drop down to 9.79 feet. Uh, some haze up for you uh, folks in Eau Claire as well, where your temperature is at, <clears throat> excuse me, 79 degrees. All right, maybe you've got some smoke in the lungs, although most of that smoke is about 10,000 feet up, and you can see the lack of cloud cover, but I want to show you what uh, we call the visible satellite. So this is going to look a little different to you, but see kind of that milky haze just kind of sinking south and southwestward across the region? That's the smoke at about uh, 10,000 feet up with some scattered. Uh, uh, well, thank you. Look at this. How, how, how about that? Ken, Ken to the rescue. Some hot tea. Hey, no problem. Mm. That's what we do here at News. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, clear the haze or the pollen or whatever else is in my throat. Who knows, right? Uh, but that haze continues to drift to the south, that smoke, uh, in advance of this cold front. Now, this cold front is pushing some warmer air ahead of it and some much cooler air behind it. In fact, our temperature is right around 80 degrees or 79 here in the cross, but Milwaukee, just off your map here, at 55 degrees, 63 in Green Bay, 68 in Oshkosh. So that cooler air will try to uh, back its way in from the east uh, overnight tonight. And you can kind of see where that boundary sits right about here. It's cooler to the east with those uh, winds coming from the east. And then for the rest of us, winds out of the north and northwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So check out the forecast for tonight. 40s for most, but I want to draw your attention to our eastern communities. Once again, 39 in Hillsboro, lots of mid to upper 30s in Monroe and Jackson counties. Once again, Clark County also 38 in Stanley, low to mid 40s for Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. So that front looks like it's going to come through dry. Maybe a few spits and sprinkles in central and eastern parts of the state, but the air is just too dry to really support anything uh, of uh, significance. And then tomorrow, a sunny to partly cloudy sky of more significance, this cold front that's going to track into the region on Thursday, eventually bring a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head into Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. So for tonight, warm and hazy this evening, clear and cool overnight, 40s for most, but again, some of those 30s in our eastern counties, sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow, cooler, uh, upper 60s to low 70s, right around 71 uh, here in La Crosse. And then mild on Thursday, 76 with that chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Cooler and breezy Friday. Highs only in the 60s. Small chance for a shower. The weekend still looking good. Pleasant, low to mid 70s. And it looks like we'll stay in the 70s into next week. Some slight rain chances return around Tuesday and or Wednesday. All right. Not sure what was going on there, but uh, thank you, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> what we do here in Newsday now, we're looking out for each other. That's right. Thanks, Bill.